Oh, it right there. Before we tell you why these thumbs are down, the hands are extended, this is Pete Maravich, the greatest playmaker and passer in the game today, passing to Henry Bibby, also playing with the New Orleans Jazz. Notice the fingers. Notice the wrist. Notice the hands. It's firm, fingers spread, follow through. Just on a simple chest pass. Now, Pete, in throwing that pass, do you really think about that when you do it, or does it become automatic? Well, actually, it becomes automatic, but the three basic ingredients in throwing any type of pass is fingertip control, backspin, and follow through. All right, now demonstrate the other few fundamental passes. All right, the four basic are the chest pass and the chest bounce pass. Well, you can throw it two ways, either backspin or, or forward spin. spin. Like this. Well, what is your major purpose? when you throw that bounce pass. Isn't it to get it right here? Try to get it right to the man's waist where he can handle it quite easily. That's the key. Too many people throw bounce passes and throw that ball away. Okay, the other two. Other two, basically the overhead pass. Like I like to think the greatest overhead passer in the game today is Wes Unsel, and he uses this mainly for outlet passes. And then your last one is the baseball pass, which is thrown I like to throw it right from the back of the air instead of winding up with it because then you, you might have a you lose control. curl, right? So I keep it here and I keep my left arm out for protection so that if I can bring it back and I throw it straight out. We're going to show you some of these passes and some extra passes while these men are in motion. Now, Pete, show them some of those. Okay, basically going down on a break situation, I'll show the first one is between the legs pass, which I like to call deceptive passing instead of always telegraphing your passes. If you're standing right there on a two-on-one situation, I'm coming down, I'll try to throw a pass in this nature and throw my hand out, extend it like this, which I know you do not like. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I don't like it? Because too many people do it and don't do it successfully. Pete, let me see another one. Well, I like to call this what I call my wrist pass, and uh, this is a very... Watch this one. I saw that. Well, you won't believe it. Watch this one. Very deceptive pass. Usually on a three-on-one situation, uh, you start out throwing the ball in this direction like you're going to throw it out to this man coming in, and actually what happens is it goes the other way. So it's a very good deceptive pass. Don't try it. Don't try it. It's very tough on your elbows. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He could do it, and the players playing with him better know that it's coming because I always felt this. What good is a great pass, no matter how good it looks, if his own teammates don't know it's coming. Now, Pete, what about passing from the move, you know, on the dribble? All right, passing on the move, again, you got basically different type passes. You got your basic bounce pass coming in like this in this situation, or you might want to come down and throw behind the back. Bounce pass in the same direction. All right, now pass in the air. Passing in the air, as, as, as you mentioned, Coach, is very dangerous because a lot of times guys commit themselves. Most of the times what I like to do is coming off a pick situation where our center rolls uh, or coming down on a break where you can go up, put a shot or pass to a guy if he comes out. Remember the way the rules of basketball are, once he is in the air, he only can do two things, pass or shoot. He cannot come down. So he knows darn well that once he leaves his feet, he better hang up there a long time if that guy's going to switch and pick off that pass. So he better be sure of what you're doing. Am I right? Correct. Too many people, especially on a high school level, they like to jump in the air all the time. And they don't become concerned when people intercept their passes. Now, I'm going to close this thing with one reminder. I've always had a philosophy on passing. The guy played for me, and like I told you many times, I don't care how you throw it, over your head, between your legs, behind your back, any way at all, as long as the guy catches it. No pass is a good one unless you catch it.